What to expect in the all-new Polestar 5? It has been decided to put Polestar's striking Precept concept car into production. It'll be on sale sometime in 2024 and be known as the Polestar 5. Polestar hasn't revealed much about the 5, but we know it will feature dual electric motors with up to 884 horsepower, a competitive driving range, think 300 miles minimum, and eco-friendly interior materials. This futuristic four-door hatchback will compete with the Porsche Taycan, the Tesla Model Model S, the Lucid Air, and the Mercedes-Benz EQS. According to the business, it intends for the new plant to be carbon neutral and will construct a whole manufacturing facility in China specifically for producing the Polestar 5. What to expect in the all-new Polestar 5? Well, let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to EV Zone, where we tell you the latest and trending news about electric vehicles. So stay tuned till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any information. And before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos in the future. The announcement to go public with a merger by Polestar was made on September 27th, 2021. The debut of three additional models was confirmed by the company and the announcement through the use of teasers. The Polestar 5, which is one of them, is rumored to be the most competent EV the company has ever produced. Following the initial announcement on November 23, 2021, there were additional hints and details. Here's everything we need to know about the Polestar 5. The brand new electric vehicle has a number designation, just like every other Polestar of the past, present, and future. Polestar is opting to keep things simple for the time being, because naming things may become complicated and confusing. Polestar CEO Thomas Ingenlath said he has seen too many painful name-giving processes in the car industry to ever get into it in an interview with TechCrunch on the sidelines of the Quail during the 2022 Monterey Car Week. If you still manage to come up with a name, however, there is a risk of trademark infringement, Ingenlath added. The business is currently happy with a nomenclature that consists solely of numbers. The Polestar 5 is one of a number of future electric vehicles that will be added to the company's global portfolio, according to the company's annual review 2021 report. The premium four-door Grand Tour would establish a new performance bar for the company and potentially replace its current flagship. It's anticipated that the EV will compete against the Tesla Model S and the Porsche Taycan. Here's what the annual report says. Polestar 5, a luxurious electric four-door GT Polestar Polestar is intended to be the production progression of Polestar Precept and will feature a new in-house aluminum chassis and powertrain. Based on the Precept idea, the Polestar 5 is a four-door GT with excellent aerodynamics. Polestar has made it clear that the Precept is not just a fancy fantasy or a product of one's wild imagination, but rather an attainable reality. The production version is almost verbatim, thus we can see that it was written with every word intended. The Precept's low and broad stance and sensuous form are shared by the 5, which is just as svelte, sporty, and athletic. It boasts razor-sharp character lines, tilted T-shaped headlamps, and split Thor's hammer headlights, just like the concept car. It also has exceptionally short overhangs. The Precept features minor visual modifications in the production edition despite this. In addition to replacing the tiny mirrors with standard mirrors and the rear door's rear hinges with front hinges, Polestar appears to have increased the height of the hood and increased the size of the lower air inlet. We're pleasantly impressed that the business has kept the obscenely big wheels that fill the arches in their original size. The designers have achieved a neater integration which cannot be claimed to the Precept concept as the LiDAR sensor does not protrude from the roof. A number of sensors necessary for the ADAS's operation are housed in the production car's nose portion. Overall, Polestar's senior exterior senior engineer, Christer Olofsson, exterior design manager Nahum Escobedo, and head of design Maximilian Misoni have created a stunning look that ought to be well received in the four door GT market. The Taycan and e tron GT have a real opponent in the works, and we're convinced that it will compete strongly on more than just the outward design. Porsche and Audi may not be concerned for the near future but the Taycan and the e-tron GT have some serious competition. Polestar 5's exterior design, including angles and details not shown in the earlier teases, has been revealed through patent images that have been discovered online during production. They attest to minute exterior changes. It lacks the upper grille sleek design and instead has a larger lower air intake and headlamps with more modules. We can see standard mirrors, traditional black doors, and a larger charging outlet on the side panels of the front quarter panel. On the road legal variant, the wheels appear an inch smaller. Long-range LiDAR performance of the concept is not present on the roof. 
TopElectricSUV.com shows an illustration of the Polestar 5 based on details from patent photos. The ADAS sensor grille, the updated air intake, the bigger headlights, the bigger charging outlet, the regular mirrors, the traditional back doors, and the smaller wheels are all visible. Considering how much AR HUDs have advanced, automakers are shrinking the size of instrument clusters, and the 5 should include cockpit screens running Android Automotive OS. This modification is being implemented in the AVs produced by Volkswagen, Skoda, and Seat. Volvo's also announced that the production version of the Volvo Concept Recharge will also feature this modification. The Polestar 5 will likely have a sizable portrait touchscreen in the center of the dashboard and a small widescreen serving as the instrument cluster. We already have an overview of one such cockpit configuration thanks to the Polestar Precept concept. The corporation will probably make fresh efforts to be more environmentally friendly and use alternative materials with the Polestar 5. The car's floor mats will be made out of recycled Nylon 6 fishing nets. For seat bolsters and headrests, another example would be the use of waste and recycled cork-based vinyl. The Polestar 5 will most likely be a very software-based, extremely hardware-ready vehicle. There's no doubt that the flagship model will be SAE Level 3 or higher autonomous, as Polestar has confirmed that it will offer unsupervised highway driving pilot in the 3 SUV. In order to give customers the convenience of purchasing and unlocking autonomous driving features whenever they want during their ownership, the Polestar 5 should include autonomous driving technology, including a LiDAR sensor as standard. Additionally, one can anticipate in-car cameras and other sensors that make sure the driver is aware of everything while the car is driving, whether it is driven manually or automatically. The Polestar 5 will face competition not just from well-known international names, but also from recently created Chinese businesses that are becoming more cutting-edge by the day. Models from firms like NIO and Xping Motors are introducing the newest technology before their Western rivals, including semi-solid-state batteries, swappable lithium-ion batteries, in-car movie projectors, and voice assistants that are powered by artificial intelligence. In order to compete in the international market, Polestar, which is now a part of a Chinese conglomerate, will need appealing characteristics. The platform for the Polestar 5 will be brand new, made of bonded aluminum. Pete Allen stated that this platform combines the qualities of a low-volume performance car and cutting-edge technological advancements to create a lightweight, high-rigidity sports car chassis technology that is prepared for series production when speaking about the car's prototype debut at the 2022 Goodwood Festival of Speed on June 23, 2022. Allen's in charge of the UK R&D facility for Polestar. Both single-motor rear-wheel drive and dual-motor all-wheel drive models of the Polestar 5 are possible. The former might have the company's 603-horsepower rear motor, while the latter could have an extra front motor to increase total power to 871 horsepower. On June 23rd of 2022, Polestar disclosed that a dual-motor system with a combined torque of 900 newton meters, or about 664 pound-feet, is being developed in Sweden as the company's new flagship powertrain. If all goes as planned, this remarkable new power plant will debut in both the the production Polestar O2 Electric Roadster and the Polestar 5. And that ends our episode. Hey, we hope you enjoyed our video today. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below your own thoughts. And don't forget to like today's video, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.